after nine o'clock and we are leaving our hotel and uh, all in all actually apart from the fact that it was on this national road uh, it was a very nice hotel very clean uh, the hosts were very kind uh, we had a breakfast this morning it was uh, eight euro we had lots of beautiful food it was very nice thank you have a nice day thank Bye -bye. you thank you yes it was a really nice breakfast area with lots of lovely food it was very nice we, we had a good uh, a good stay and uh, for a little bit we follow that um, main road okay highway is going this way on the right we are going on the left are we which means we are parting with the highway for a little bit at least right i don't know if we'll see it again but oh look at this beautiful wall huh Belorado, Abuesson Samba Burgos, Leon. Je ne crois pas qu'on va s'y rendre. I don't think we'll get there, huh? Then Santiago. And Santiago de Compostela. Oh, that's a beautiful painting. Even the side of the same building is all beautifully painted. It's a very lovely depiction of. Peregrino walking the way. Very pretty day. Beautiful walk this morning. Very peaceful. Isn't it, Mon Chéri? Huh? Always beautiful with you, Chéri. Ah. You after something? He must want something. No, he's always very sweet like that. I'm very fortunate to have you with me to share this, to be so kind and considerate. <laughs> so what I was saying is that we are very uh, fortunate this morning. Uh, I guess because we left early, we are probably the last one to leave and there's nobody nobody ahead nobody behind and uh, it's very peaceful see hear the birds singing still not too far from the highway as you can see behind there you hear it a little but it's not like you're oh there it is see the trucks go by but we're far enough, which is better and nicer, right? And it's a beautiful path. And again, like I said, the bird is singing. You can hear them. Still lots of flowers and beautiful fields. And, and we are entering very shortly our first village. I think it was first five kilometers, so pretty easy. Easy peasy start, right? C'est bon? Nice easy start. Almost missed this. We were Jacques looked back to wait for me. And look what he saw. Have to look on the map and see what this is, but we just left the town of Tos Santos, el, el, el pueblo de Tos Santos. So this must be a church or a castle, but it looks like it's built in the in the rock, right, right. of the mountain. Pretty cool. Very cool looking. Oof. This is what we're leaving behind. A beautiful. Sun, 
more wheat fields, right? And our next village was only three kilometer. So must be what we see ahead of us. What do you think? Like not the first thing, but the second one? I think he, there's a, our second village, our third village over there, and then we somewhere in there. Lots of villages, eh? Every three yeah. kilometers or so. Pretty cool. We're following a a bee that's trying to. Uh, we can hear it. Oh, there she is. No, she can't decide which flower she's gonna go to, right? And now she's gone. But we were just commenting how absolutely stunning the poppies are against this very green bush. And if you go a little further against the pale green, of the wheat field, right? Very, very pretty. Oh, there it is, she's still looking. Probably hear her. Anyway, we are arriving at our next village. Church steeple right there. Very pretty. Beautiful little church. Very small. But, uh, very well done. Very pretty. So as we approach our next little town, I wanted to explain uh, a comment that I wrote at the end of yesterday's video, which was that we did yellow, we, we uh, did some yellow blazing for about six kilometer. And uh, Jacques was listening to my video before I publish it. And he said, um, I probably need to explain what the yellow blazing is. And uh, I said, yeah, <laughs> you're right. So here it is. In where it comes from is it, it's the trails over in North America, um, many long trails like the Appalachian Trail. If you don't do all of it, meaning that you're not walking every step of it and you skip a, a little bit of it, you take a car or a shuttle or a taxi to a point a little further and you, you skip some mileage, it's called yellow blazing because the middle line on the roads, at least around this area, um, is yellow. And blaze is referring to the marker. So here, the marker of the Camino is the, the shell, of course. Um, and over in, on the long trail in North America, the trails are marked with a, a white banner 
at least the Appalachian Trail is white banner. And so you follow the white blaze if you're following the Appalachian Trail. And if you skip ahead and you take a shuttle or a taxi, then you are yellow blazing. And so yesterday I wanted to, I wanted to mention that we, um, we skipped uh, six kilometer. We got picked up from our beautiful hotel and uh, got dropped off six kilometer away. And so in North America, we would say uh, we are, we yellow blazed six kilometers. So this is where it came from. Uh, so Jacques and I did some um, of the Appalachian Trail. I did a couple of months solo last year. And uh, in fact, last month, Jacques and I together did one whole state, Georgia, of the Appalachian Trail. And uh, we didn't do, just for the record, I last year, nor this year with Jacques, we didn't do any yellow blazing. But that's why the expression comes from is yellow blaze. But if you want to learn more about uh, those long trails, um, I have separate playlist and you can feel free to go check it out. But uh, I'll try to put an image of the, the white blaze that I'm referring to as a reference. But uh, this is what I meant when I said we yellow blazed. And we're just about to enter the next little village. Then you are yellow blazing. And so yesterday I wanted to I wanted to mention that we um, we skipped uh, six kilometers. We got picked up from a beautiful hotel and uh, got dropped off six kilometers away. So Oof. Where did we stop? La villa over there. Uh. <laughs> Jack is a created little monster. He, well, he Spanish, uses Spanish is getting, his Spanish is is he's is using the, English words and putting word, an o. Bueno, bueno, buena, <laughs> bueni, bueni. <laughs> we stopped at it was called Espinosa. Right. Espinosa, and we stopped at a cafe, the only one there. It's a very small, small town, and it was unbelievable. Let's walk, Sherry. As we show the beautiful countryside here. Was it unbelievable because for me they had all super fresh produce, really nice little um, restaurant. They do a, a Pelgrim's dinner there as well. They had a beautiful room for that and uh, but for lunch they had all these really nice sandwiches pinkstos as they call them and uh, of course I usually can't have any of them because they're all on bread most of them and uh, started to talk to the uh, the keeper and uh, chef and owners and he said oh I can make any of them without the bread for you so I couldn't I was like a child in a candy store I couldn't pick. I was like, oh, I wanted to have all of it. And I had my sandwich ready from this morning that I'd packed, but I picked one anyway. And I had this lovely tomato and cheese and oil. The olive oil is so delicious. Anyway, I took a picture so you can see what it looks like, but it was really nice. And uh, now we're on our way to Villafranca. To the French, the French town. Yeah, it's called Villafranca, la, la ville française. It has some history to do with the French in there, right? Right. So, anyway, we have uh, just a few, maybe like short of four k's uh, to get there. So, very relaxed. Day. We're very relaxed day and we're walking very slowly. I think I ate too much for the first time. <laughs> I haven't been eating enough and when I see things I can eat, 
I am like I have to eat it. And they even had energy bars that they have were homemade. So of course I had one as well. It's very nice. Very delicious. We just came over the little hill and uh, we just see our village down at the bottom on, of the hill onto the left. And as we were walking up, that's what Jacques said. He called it. He called it right. And we see the church right there on our way. Like a king and a queen, but each our bed, right? Though I have to say, when I look at the bed from this angle, the bed is leaning towards the head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyway, that's okay. We are okay. Look at, look at this armoire, and then you see clothes laying around because we wash our clothes, and uh, yeah. Getting to the window, ah, we have the underwear and socks drying all over because it can. Look at the view we got out of this window. Whoa! To the left is the church. Amazing. And out there is the village. Very, very pretty. The sun is going down and the sky is blue. We're going to go to bed shortly. Big day tomorrow. <laughs>